Unexpectedly, the flat prairie landscape drops into badlands, exposing a terrain dating back a hundred million years where prehistoric dinosaurs roamed. This is Dinosaur Provincial Park of Alberta. Dinosaur Provincial Park is a two-hour drive east of Calgary and resides in the Red Deer River Valley. The park is one of the richest locations for dinosaur fossils in the world. Active digs are still in progress. There are a handful of short self-guided trails and a number of guided hikes which can be booked online. The park has a scenic loop with access to its trails. Uh, most of the park is a nature preserve and it's off limits to everyone except park staff, scientists and guided tours. It has a wonderful campground, including seven tents for rent with basic amenities. The Badlands Trail is a wonderful 1.3 kilometers into this eerie landscape. It's the only trail that ventures into the large nature preserve, so visitors are expected not to venture too far off the trail. You'll need good footwear, and the trail can be very slippery after a rain. The lines in the hills illustrate millions of years of transformation in the landscape. About a hundred million years ago, much of Alberta was an inland sea that ran almost vertically down North America. I figure we're about here. Imagine, right here were lush forests with swampy coastal areas, and the dinosaurs thrived in this wetland environment. It was the Cretaceous period, with the dinosaurs in their final act, including large terrifying carnivores, herbivores traveling in herds and caring for their young, and the marine dinosaurs inhabiting the inland sea. As the mountains continued to grow to the west, the shallow inland seafloor began to rise and the sea slowly began to disappear. The rivers from the newly formed Rockies now flowed over this land, depositing sediments from the mountain range. About 65 million years ago, a large comet or asteroid slammed into the Earth which set off a global event that suddenly killed off the dinosaurs. A thick cloud of dust put the Earth in darkness possibly for a couple years. All large vertebrate animals died out. Birds and small mammals survived. This area became a perfect graveyard for dinosaurs. After they died, thick sand and mud covered the plants and animals, preserving many of them as intact fossil skeletons. About 12,000 years ago, the Ice Age was receding, and torrents of water from melting glaciers carved out this valley, revealing layers of ironstone, shale and sandstone right down to the ancient coastline. And around that time, and possibly earlier, Homo sapiens migrated across the Arctic Peninsula and into North America. Blackfoot First Nations people were the first to come across the exposed dinosaur bones, thinking they belonged to ancient giant buffalo. They carried the smaller bones as good luck, and some also made their way into medicine pouches. On the scenic loop are a couple shelters with example fossil digs on display. And the second one is also the head of the Trail of the Fossil Hunters, which is an easy one kilometer hike. 
The first scientifically recorded dinosaur discovery in Canada was in 1884 by Joseph Terrell while working for the Geographical Survey of Canada. Walking through this valley and looking for evidence of coal and other minerals, he unexpectedly found himself staring at a huge eye socket in an enormous skull of a large meat eater. It was eventually named Albertosaurus. By 1910, excavations began and the first seven years became known as the Great Canadian Dinosaur Rush. At the end of this trail are two stakes where a couple skeletons were excavated in those early years. One was a large Albertosaurus and the other a smaller Euoplocephalus. Overall, 58 dinosaur species have been discovered here and more than 500 specimens have been excavated from this area and displayed in museums all over the world. We wrap our visit with a stroll on the short Cottonwoods Flats Trail, which takes us along the riverside habitat of 200-year-old cottonwood trees. In 1979, Dinosaur Provincial Park was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So if you choose to visit the park, I also recommend you plan to visit the town of Drumheller, which is a one hour, 40 minute drive northwest of here. A must see there is the Royal Terrell Museum, with one of the world's largest collections of dinosaur skeletons, including excavations from here. Drumheller also has more Badlands areas to explore, and it'll be my next video. If you enjoy my videos, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified of new releases. It's free, and sharing with your friends is much appreciated.